Hey, what's up guys? I was going through my old Dropbox and uh, discovered three VSTs I made back in uh, 2011. Uh, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of go through them. Uh, you can check these out on my uh, Patreon page. I'm going to be uploading a bunch of stuff there for uh, supporters. So um, yeah, this is like the first VST I ever made. This is a noise generator. And basically, all it does is generate uh, white noise. Uh, this was used by me and a couple of my producer friends uh, as a utility to just make white noise sweeps. I used to make a lot of hard techno back in the day, and uh, yeah, it would kind of sound like this. <laughs> pretty funny there's like a, a correlation meter here I don't know why I put that um, yeah and the you know you can also have like a flanger uh, delay and reverb have them on and off which is pretty cool um, different filter types you can select yeah I basically gave this out for free it was like my very first kind of attempt uh, you can also increase the uh, release to get like a smooth kind of percussive uh, noise if I were to redo this, I would have a, an envelope uh, for the uh, cutoff uh, just to make it a little bit easier. But yeah, um, it was, you know, believe it or not, it was pretty popular because it would save you having to like open a VST and then select a bunch of stuff. It was always just kind of there and good to go. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Here's my second VST attempt. Uh, this is basically a Moog-like thing, and the general theory is is uh, each oscillator, which are all oscillator one for some reason, um, are very kind of chaotic. Like they're not, they don't stay in tune. They're very, you know, they don't make any sense. There's some wave shapers going on under the hood that make it sound really, really uh, weird. It's a weird kind of experiment. Uh, there's uh, two stages of filters. I believe they're in series uh, with distortion and drive. And there's some like kind of cross feedback with the resonance going on in here. You ask me, I wouldn't know what I did, uh, but it basically sounds like this. <laughs> it's very, I guess, beefy. I don't know. And uh, you can adjust the, uh, you know, the, the envelopes of the filter and pitch. Yeah, pretty fun. You can add more kind of oscillators. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of scary. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's uh, that. And then uh, my, my third kind of attempt. I wanted something that was lightweight that I could use, you know, small footprint. I was on a very small screen at the time, kind of struggling, and I wanted something, you know, that was just simple three oscillator, uh, no modulation, just filter, filter type, and amplifier. And I really like these uh, knobs that I made. They're actually... Pretty cool. This is called polyphonics. It's a polyphonic instrument uh, because you know I didn't know how to turn the the Moog V at the time into uh, anything that wasn't monophonic. So here's what that sounds like. Each uh, oscillator sounds pretty cool. And have higher resonance. And uh, yeah, you can do all sorts of stuff. Different filter types. You can adjust the uh, cutoff. Let me do that right now. Oops. And, uh, yeah, it, and the cool thing is, you know, you can use just, you know, one note at a time, but you can play it in a mode that's uh, more than one note. So 
So, yeah, you can do all that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just thought that, would, that it was really kind of, I was like, oh, my God, I totally forgot about these. And, uh, yeah, um, fun to play around with. Uh, they work. They're 32-bit only, and uh, they only work on Windows. So, no Mac, sorry. Uh, but, yeah, you can get them on my Patreon. Uh, and if, you know, yeah, you become a supporter in the tier, you'll be able to read all the rewards and stuff. And, yeah, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, take care and have a good one.